What's up, everybody? It's your favorite pile of parts, favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the Superion from Zeta Toys to round out the series of videos. On loan to me, of course, from Caleb. I've done so far so good with keeping everything intact. Let's hope that that trend continues. These are the parts that I was talking about in regard to Superion that we went over with Silverbolt, or that I mentioned with Silverbolt, and I said we'd be going over here. This is them. We'll talk about them as we utilize them for the combined mode. Uh, just as a quick refresher, if you take Silverbolt's gun and you fold up the pieces and you open up this gun and then you can sit that inside and now you have superion's rifle other than that that's the only thing that we had to refresh let's get started let's look at them in both modes and then we'll start transforming them into combined mode sound good let's go so here they are in robot mode and i mean i think it looks fantastic like if i was into legends if this did it for me i would probably pick up two sets of these because i think that they're good enough and just be done i think it's a good looking team they look sharp together they look good together they're painted well like i think it's a good set nothing really negative to say in that regard it is interesting though like putting my hands on all of them again these two are definitely the strongest and these two are definitely the weakest and then he's kind of somewhere in the center and that's not to say that they're weak releases it's just in comparison and there they are in jet mode, you know, and I think they do a great job. Like, I think they pull this off as well. You know, I think it's a pretty consistent looking set across all three modes, to be honest. So we'll start with this guy. Um, you got to kind of do like you're getting ready to go to robot mode again. So open this up. Move that back. You want to untab this from the back. <laughs> That's my baby upstairs. And then... Untab the wings. Untab these pieces, I think, just so you can get uh, a couple of them moving like that. Here's what you want to do to open it up. Also, collapse these and then spin them back. And I got to tell you, these always eat me up uh, how to do this properly. I, I don't think it's like this. It's like this and then spin it around maybe i don't know i'll sort it out it's something i don't know something about the mechanics of it that like it it's tricky for me uh all right so that is pretty much it what we're gonna do from that point is bring in our feet and our body so open up these things here this comes right inside the back so to speak, and then that closes up and these two pieces latch on to the side. Uh, once you have that closed in, then you can close up these back pieces. This will sit down here at the bottom and this will kind of collapse into it. Uh, you know, like that-ish. I'll, I'll clean this all up off camera because I don't want to waste too much time let's see here Ugh, see i hate messing with that thing anyway you get the point of that and then down here at the bottom the slide in to the back and then this tab or uh, flap comes up and locks it in place so i'll get that cleaned up we'll move on to the next one so same situation just release the wings here uh here as well you want to bring this piece up. This piece is a, it's an ornery little tab. I'm trying not to, Oof, I don't like that at all. But that, uh, that comes out. And if you open up that panel, it'll rock down. You need to get access to here. I wonder if we can do it, try it without uh, taking these pieces out. Let's just, let's give it a go. Um, once again, we're gonna slide this piece in. Close it, close these pieces around it. Yeah, no problem. Then we're going to collapse. Oh, maybe that's why you need to. Just gotta get this wing sorted. These, these wings eat me up, dude, I'm not. Not gonna, lie, not gonna lie to you. All right, so you get the picture. That's that one. Let's see if I can't get this one. And there's that one. And then we'll get the other foot. 
This has a, uh, a white base to match the leg, which is a nice little touch. Slides in, and then this piece comes around the back and clips in. Moving on to the arms. Uh, once again, we're gonna take this, this out. You know? We're going to take the tail out. We're going to elongate the uh, waist here. Make sure that this is kind of still together. Open this up. Yeah, actually, you should have done that probably before I extended it, but what's done is done. <laughs> uh, rotate this so that the elbow is in the right spot and then back. And then you're going to, once again, collapse these wings uh, like this. Like I said, they, they eat me up. And that's not, that's not the toy's fault. That's totally, totally my fault. And there. We're going to, you gotta get this head out. And that. So that this can come up. And you gotta open this up here. Otherwise you'll be stuck in space like me. And let's see what we gotta do here. Set that appropriately. And open up your legs here, so to speak. Slide in your hand and then close that back up. I'm not gonna take, there. Uh, oh, sh shoot, we gotta get this, we gotta get this out. There's your connector. Now we can put this back. Sorry, wasn't thinking. There, all righty. So lift up this space on the body. Uh, you wanna take this and, and slide it in. There's a straight edge and a rounded off edge, for lack of a better term. You want the straight edge, I think, to go in and then close this up and that will secure it nicely. And we're gonna do pretty much the exact same thing on this side. So uh, this time I'll go ahead and get that connector out straight away. Um, we'll untab the chest and do it properly this time and extend, oh, I've gotta bring this out here. And then extend the, the abdomen and then you can close that back up. This will come down and peg into the back and then this, we have to open up here. And it's just a matter, there's like a number of, of pieces here on the armature, and it's just a matter of making sure that you have them kind of properly aligned there. Okay, wings, they'll eat me up. Let's give it a shot. Uh, how about that? That'll do. On this side, open your legs, so to speak. Slide the hand in. Oh, that sounds awful. And then close it back up, and you're ready. Open this up, you know. Slide in the arm, and then close it back up. Only one piece left to do, and unfortunately, this is where some of the problems lie. All right, so we're going to collapse the hands inside of the forearm. As you know, this is a bit of a chore, um, but easier to easier in than out, so to speak. And we want to rotate at the bicep so that we can fold the arms to the back. And then unpeg our chest pieces. If you recall, there's two tabs. There's the white one and then the red one and then bring those down to sit at the lower part of the body. All right, we can put the head away, so to speak. Why am I having so much problems getting that 
There we go. And we can put fruit away. And then we have to bring the legs up. So rotate at the thigh and then bend at the knee and there's a female slot there and a female hole there and then there's a male uh, peg and a male tab and that's what we're looking to connect boom and then once you have that in you can put you can connect your arm here as well We'll do that on the other side. A little tricky to see what I'm doing over the camera. There we go. Bring your backpack up and it wedges between there, the little tab that plugged into the back of uh, Silverbolt. Make sure your arm is connected here and tab in you know re-secure your backpack is going to come it's going to come on uh it's going to come undone over and over just do the best you can and there you go all right so then take this piece here and lift it up take your superior uh, your silver bolt box slide them in and then this will come down and latch over top of the tabs in the uh, ankles of silver bolt and then you could take your head, we'll use this one for now, plug that in, turn them around, and we'll plug, how does this work? Oh yeah, like this. And these pieces here, that makes me a little nervous, just because it's a very, very small little tab. And then you take this piece and connect it onto the chest. I'll clean it up. We'll take a look at it. The only other thing that we didn't talk about accessory wise uh, are these little foam strips. There's a little sticky tab on this. I'm guessing they go on the bottom of the. But I'll be honest with you, it doesn't need it. Um, I've, I, I can show you where it goes on the bottom of the feet. It does sound like Kermit the Frog, does it, feet? Um, it goes right in there. But this guy, he stands like a champ. <laughs> like you, you shouldn't have any problems. But if you do, you got these, so thoughtful nonetheless. All right, so after having messed with them a little bit, I can tell you this piece is gonna come off. The moment it comes off, we're discarding it. We'll bring it back for a picture at the end, but I'm not doing this all day. Fair enough? We on board? Okay, let's start with the head sculpt and we'll look at this one. I'll show you the other look uh, during the final thoughts. Obviously, it's just a head swap of different heads. Head sculpt looks good. The paint on the mask and stuff looks great. These look a little plain to me, the antenna. I wish that they would have been painted. Oh, and I only say that because looking at it, it just looks plain and then the dead eyes don't help. Uh, I don't know why they didn't paint the eyes with this great red that they have. I mean, they have multiple great reds throughout. I'm not sure why they chose here to, to hold back on the paintbrush. That seems like a weird choice. The head is on a ball peg. The ball peg connects into the chest here so you can get the head all the way up due to the cut in the back of the head, which is great. A good bit down, which is also nice. And then the swivel and a little bit of confused superion head. So no issues there. For the arms, ratcheted out to the side. We'll back out just so you can see how kind of impressive that is. To 90 degrees with no problem. Uh, as for the movement around, you will have to rotate these. Also ratcheted for complete 360. And then we have an elbow that gets you 90 degrees at least. Well, no, it's actually maybe a little shy of 90 degrees. It feels like it's just the wings and stuff that bump up against it that, uh, oh, you know what I didn't do here? I didn't rotate this. Um, so if you took the wings off, they're on ball pegs. If you took the wings off, you could probably get even uh, more of a range. So something to think about if you have, if you have this fella. Uh, bicep swivel is in there. We have a wrist swivel and a hinge in out. It's not a hinge, it's on a ball peg, but you get the idea. Let me back that out a little bit. 
Thumb is on a ball peg that comes out to a secondary number and the knuckle number. What am I doing? And a tertiary knuckle. And then same for the fingers, except you only get the secondary knuckle. But I think that should be more than enough for what you need. All right. We'll get them out of the way, which is easy to do because it's built like a champ. And I'm getting ready to say built like a champ, and this is getting ready to fall off. So here we go. Waist swivel. <laughs> it's like I'm a, some sort of some sort of soothsayer. Uh, but that's fine. We have an ab crunch. So that's great. And we have a teapot. So fully articulated. And with this amount of parts forming, it's what we should expect. And guess what? It's what we get. So I'd love to see it. Then we have hip skirts. They get up and out of the way. To expose universals, which are ratcheted for the full Van Dam. And it's a pretty sturdy little ratchet. Nothing's falling apart, really. I mean, you get this little piece here, but you know, the. I, how many combiners have we looked at were like limbs and I mean the magic square one just recently right like stuff has just fallen off of it um, and then forward and back for the full Monty we have a thigh swivel we have a double jointed knee for a little bit more than 90 degrees because of all of the kind of bits and stuff right uh, ankles let's see here we have an ankle tilt up we have an ankle tilt down All right, so now we're sorted, and uh, now you have your ankle rocker. So the good news is, if you're like me and you confuse, I wonder if my arms are right. You know what? Let me go check. I think my arms are right. So the good news is, is if your feet are wrong or the configuration is wrong in that regard, uh, it'll because you, you you just match the colors, right? So the black jet goes with the black ankle, um, which is actually a winery not too far from my house. Black ankle winery, but if um, the the colors will match up. So when you look at this. The, uh, the ankle rockers will move appropriately. So I don't know about you, so Superion is one of those ones where I've always struggled to remember which one goes where. So if you're like me, uh, they've got a little cheat code built in there for you, which is nice. So yeah, I mean like pretty impressive. Um, couple little fiddly bits, but for the most part, pretty impressive. Like the backpack, as you can see, has come undone while we've been working on this. But other than that, I mean, I mean, really, I mean, to be fair, it's well done. The size comparison wise, I'll show you a couple legends here in a second, but you can see there he is next to an MP Seeker. So bigger than an MP Seeker. There he is with the New Age Megatron and the new New Age Optimus, which I think looks good. Maybe I would prefer it to be a little bigger. Maybe if the feet were like slightly taller. Like I kind of like, I'm just, just me. I'm not looking at any scale chart. and I don't really nerd out that way, but like, I kind of like Optimus to come up to like the bottom of the knee. I don't know if that's accurate or not. I, like I always say, scale is in the eye of the beholder. Um, but either way, I mean, I think that you'll be perfectly happy with the size, even if it isn't quite as big as you'd like it to be, so to speak. Like myself, I'm still satisfied. There it is with the Magic Square Optimus Prime and the Iron Factory Torn. Torn's about where I wish Optimus was. And then of course, with our usual suspects, the Iron Factory Old School Scale Blaster and the Hasbro Stunicon Legends figure. Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negative. There are a lot of fiddly bits. You had to constantly sort of readjust the backpack. You've got to constantly sort of readjust this chest piece. You got to constantly sort of readjust the wings. You got to readjust where um, slingshot sort of plugs in. There's a lot of that. They're minor adjustments, but they still require a lot of adjusting as you manipulate and maneuver through the figure. I think that specifically this piece and these two pieces could have been better sort of done in general, integrated anyway. I get why they did it for the different options. I just think it could have been done better. And then there's a little bit, like this is the problem with uh, Superion all the time, like the wings constantly form a challenge in terms of articulation. This guy's no exception. It suffers from the same thing. If I were to pick out more, I would say that I wish the antennas were painted and I wish that the, the eye visor was painted. Halfway because the, the visor looks dead, the other half being that so much of this guy is painted and beautifully painted that it, it would have been nice to just go the extra step, just finish off those antennas. But to be fair, I mean, there's a ton of paint apps on this. Even on the kind of like parts forming pieces, there's paint on the hand, there's paint on the feet there's paint on the little like the little red paint inside of there there's paint all over the chest piece like they did not spare the brush on this whatsoever and it shows and it looks great as a result but that being said i think if they went the extra mile with the visor and the antenna it would have been even better and i'll be honest i think that's it Positives wise, the actual engineering in regard to connecting all the parts forming pieces is done beautifully. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, it better be. Look at the amount of parts forming they use. And I agree. However, I've seen it plenty of times where parts forming is used and it still isn't solid. So that being said, this one's solid as a rock in regard to the actual bot 
components of Superion connecting to the overall bot in combined mode. I like that they have the options for the, the face or the mask, the different options for the chest plate. I love how much paint they took to this. The articulation is fantastic to include the teapot hinge, ab crunch, tons of articulation in the ankles. It just, it's really, really phenomenal. It's without a doubt the best legend scale combiner that I have looked at so far, without a doubt. They know what they're doing in this arena. I'd love to see them return to Masterpiece immediately. I'm begging them. This has made me realize how much I miss them. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic offering. Pretty much right down the list of things that you want to work right on a combiner. This thing does. Few little obnoxious things in regards to pieces falling off. And when I say falling off, it's really just the chest piece. And then a couple little things you got to kind of slightly adjust. Just adjust the wing here. Like, see this little wing here? You just like it's just like you just gotta adjust the wing here. It's like a lot of like little stuff like that, but it's such little things in the great scheme of things. Like this is a really well done thing and a super strong recommend from me. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Take care.